everyone, and welcome back to Old Mods 9. We are, of course, back on the server. Just me at the moment. Nice and quiet for me. The public server's got like eight or so people on it. Um, all of which can be joined via the Discord below. So thank you for doing that. Uh, you, oh, you obviously don't have to. Thanks for showing up, regardless. Last episode, we attempted to set up uh, an enchanting room. And, I mean, we've got an enchanting table. It's hooked up to give us the option for level 30 enchants. Uh, but then we sort of ran into a few problems. Problem number one being... Well, I don't have 30 levels. And then the follow-up to that problem was the ways to store experience like that I was looking at needed like a bottle of enchanting, which I don't have. Uh, there was a big mess trying to get stuff set up. Um, on top of that, I sort of, we, we made this enchanter from Ender.io. Um, and we also went through a dungeon. We got enough skulls that we can craft looting three, but I need a few more levels. So what are we doing this episode? Well, the sun's going down, but that's fine. There's one thing I would like to do right off the bat, and that is, you might notice our back is quite empty. Normally we have a backpack and it gives us night vision and it's very, very helpful. We died in the dungeon that's sort of like underneath our quarry. And we had a few people, uh, where is it? Um, Velamin and uh, Confused Awesome let me know that I believe, or at least they believe, that the backpacks drop as an like as a block on the ground, not an item. So when I died and, you know, my grave existed. Um, it was not in there. So you guys probably can't see anything, which is a horrible start to a video. I know, I know. But I'm going to run back to where I died, or at least try to find where I died, um, and see if our stuff's there. Because, I mean, that'll be really, really good. All right, so this is the room that we died in. We got tricked into opening a chest. It pushed a piston, which let all of the gravel fall, and we hit some spikes or some... Um, uh, like the dripstone stuff. We hit we hit that down there and it obviously took us out. Um, now we did have a, some sort of staircase that I guess made it over here. I guess I'll make a new staircase. That's fine. Um, and we'll see if we can get down there as well as I guess take care of this guy. And so our grave actually popped up down here. Now, <laughs> obviously I died in that room and then we spawned over here. I'm just sort of looking like, is there... Any way I can bring light into this area? I do, I wonder. In extras, we have true darkness on. Is that making things darker somehow? No, it doesn't look like it. But, but yeah, essentially our, our backpack might be around here somewhere. So I'm going to do a combination of just like picking up, um, you know, all of this stuff. Oh, that's it. Yeah, cool. Okay, sweet. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's our backpack. That's our night vision. That's our storage. And I wanted to put like, you know, all, not that bow, but you know, all the good... Um, worthwhile stuff in here. Um, because, you know, I don't need, like, buckets and shears on me all the time. But when I do need them, it's pretty good to have them. Oh, that's awesome. I, okay, yeah, cool. So, I've got our backpack. I don't know if we had a different backpack either. Like, part of me is thinking, did we have a sophisticated backpack? I don't know if we ended up making one. Or if we did make one, I don't know if we used it. Um, I was just wondering whether or not that actually spawned somewhere as well. Um, regardless, hey, I got what I came for, so I'll tell you what, I'm just going to head back to the top, um, and we'll try to continue with what we've got planned for the day. I've got some stuff bookmarked up here. Um, I might, I, I'm, I don't know whether I should just attempt to follow through with the enchanting stuff, which I, I don't know. I, I honestly haven't looked into it that much, so it's going to be a risk, uh, going that route, or whether I ignore it and we just go into like ore processing and some other stuff that I know we can do. Um, and we can get done, and at least then that's something satisfying that we've done, and then we can, you know, loop back around and try to do the enchanting stuff again. Um, th there is also something we can attempt to do real quick to solve our enchanting problem, possibly. Um, specifically these guys here. Pumps experience between tank upgrade and player. That sounds like exactly what we want. Does it not? I, I, I think it does. So, we'll jump up here. I'll get situated again, you know, put some stuff away, um, sleep through the night, and and we'll, we'll start there, then we'll work through. There's, there's there's some pretty cool stuff you guys have uh, told me about. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore him, and he'll leave me alone, right? Surely, <laughs> maybe. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to see if we can store our experience. Oh, okay. No, the first thing I want to do is, I guess, deal with this. Uh, you know what, actually? This might be a good time. We've got a bow here that we got from the looting. Um, 
like through the dungeon. Applies wither to the target. I mean, that sounds really good, assuming I can land the shot. Because that guy should now have wither, and that should pretty much just, like, take care of him. Oh! <laughs> um, and the necromancer dropped these two things, which I guess we'll take. Oh, are we good? Um, a tarnished crown, as well as a wisp scroll. Kill! Okay. I mean, I'll probably just store them away. Unless one of you guys happen to know about them and whether or not they're worth anything. Tarnished Crown, I mean, it sounds cool, but is it just like... I don't know. I guess you can gild it? Sure. I mean, yeah, it's got mana and stuff, so if we ever get into magic, at least we've got some, some little gadgets and stuff. Um, so yeah, what I want to do here is I want to make a pump upgrade. Now, we can make a sophisticated backpack, and, and I think we should, honestly. Um, now, to do that, I know it needs some leather, and we don't have enough. But, once again, you guys just came, you came through in the last episode with um, helpful stuff. Um, where is it? Yeah. Um, Mikja said that if we get rotten flesh, what we can actually do is we've got this guy over here, um, our dryer. Now, currently, it's drying um, lava, but I think I can chuck rotten flesh in there as well. No, it's not going to work because there's lava in there too. But... The idea is that this guy should dry rotten flesh into leather. I could do a normal drying basin or something. Um, it's an option. <laughs> or, I wonder if I can just pick this guy up. Ah! I wonder if I can just pick that guy up and, you know, do that sort of stuff with it. Where would he be? He'd be in here. Oh, and they're also... Okay. Can everyone relax for a second? Um, okay. I mean, I see what I've done wrong. Um... Oh, this is just horrible. Okay, no, this... Okay, no... Okay, hold on. Hold... Hold... <laughs> hold on. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and place this back there. And just not do that. That's... That's probably... That's a pretty good idea, right? Do we... Are we all in agreement that that's... That's a pretty good idea? If we just, um... Just real quick. If I just jump over here. Let's just do one of those. And then maybe... Oh, wait, no. I think that one needed to be lava. Well, that's fine. We'll just... We'll let that all disappear. I'll, um... Dig up some of the cobble. And, we'll, yeah. We'll try to get things back to normal. Alright, this is back to normal. Sure. whoop de doo Whatever. Um, let's go ahead and make it the normal, uh, drying basin. I don't think we can afford, um, another one. Uh, do we actually have ink? We have a singular ink sack. What do we have in terms of, like, black dye? We don't... We just don't. Um... Ink sack I can mill into two. Yeah, look, I mean, we'll just do that, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Alright, we'll put that away. Drying basin. Awesome. We're also above ground, which means the night vision is very strong for whatever reason. Um, but we should be able to now place in rotten flesh. And this stuff will dry. It actually tells you how long it will take in a normal basin, I believe. It will take five seconds, and it will turn into leather. So that's pretty good. Um, I think for the backpack, you need about four or five. So we'll go in here and search um, sophisticated. No, we'll do at sophisticated. And we just want a normal backpack. So yeah, four leather should be enough. And I mean, that should literally be enough there. Um, so we'll see if we can make this guy. Do we have any in here? If I do at sophisticated, doesn't look like it. All right, sophisticated backpack, craft one. Awesome. Um, so this guy has room for an upgrade slot. Now, I happen to already know that we're going to need to upgrade this guy a few times. So, for example, into iron. Um, and then I think at least into gold. At least for now. Um, you can take it up to diamond and then netherite and stuff. But we'll leave it at gold for now. That gives it, I believe, three upgrade slots. Uh, we will need... Uh, you know what? I actually do need that, <laughs> that bit of rotten flesh we had back. Um, because I think we need some more leather. I'm going to need to make not only one of these pump upgrades... But I believe also, I think we read the tank upgrade. So if I search tank, it was saying it needs, yeah, replaces part of backpack's inventory with fluid storage. So we're going to need one of these. And that will need an upgrade base, which is going to be one leather, four string, and four iron. So there we go. This guy obviously upgrades with some glass to make a tank upgrade. And we can open him up, chuck this in. And now, yeah, two columns turn into a tank. And we've got some stats you can input with a bucket, output with a bucket. I mean, that, that, that that's awesome. That's, that's exactly what we want. Um, the follow-up is going to be an experience pump upgrade. Now, pumps fluids. Uh, advanced pump upgrade that I guess has 
different filters and does some other cool stuff. Then there's obviously the experience pump. Now, this guy needs bottles of enchanting too. Um, now, once again, I had a, we had an issue and we have a solution. I believe <laughs> um, you guys told me, yeah. Um, oh, how, how are we going to say this? Moog Courtney said the librarian on their last trade can offer you bottles of XP. The librarian obviously being um, a villager. So, mm, yeah, we'll see if we can do that. Um, so to do that, the librarian, I believe, needs a lectern. And there's lecterns in that cave. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'd prefer to just grab one here and not have to go into the cave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, oh my god, this, they're running around loose. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if we get lucky. Now, this village, by the way, there's this one, there's this one, and there's this one. So we've got a lot to look through in, in terms of um, trying to find the right guy. Um, hey, I guess if we need more bookshelves. Little, little hidey hole over there. What else have we got going on? Oh, a vanilla chest with a saddle in it. I don't know what to make of that, but I will take it. <laughs> I, 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 I almost don't want to because I, I was like, you know, enjoying taking stuff out of loot chests because you can confirm. I mean, do, do we need a saddle for anything? Can you craft a saddle? You can fish for a saddle. Skeleton horse trophy with some boards, I guess. Okay. Saddle you can crush down into leather. Okay. I mean, I, yeah. I, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to not take it. You know what I mean? Um, all right. We'll head over to this guy over here. And if there's nothing in there, we'll teleport back down to um, the Mahal Lake. How does that sound? I think that sounds like a good idea. Or, you know, we'll just craft a lectern. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick up one of the, the villagers over here. Yeah, assuming there's a bunch of you. I, I don't really know what the deal is, I guess. All right, so we do have a lectin down here, which I'm obliged to take. There we go. Lectin collected. And so then all I need is a villager that is jobless. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And I've got I've got a job for you, <laughs> essentially. Take some emeralds, take this cage. All right, sweet. Um, so then I just need to make it back up to the waystone that may or may not exist. And I'm leaning towards it doesn't exist, <laughs> but, but I don't know for sure yet. Um, also, uh, I should mention we are currently on one, oh, oh sorry, 0 0.42 for the mod pack version, just to, I don't know, for, yeah, so you know, <laughs> I guess. Alrighty, so, um, we've obviously got our villager and our lectern. Um, oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's a trader block, right? Like if we search trading station or something, trader. So there's a trader, which is pretty cheap to make. And there's an auto trainer, or trader, sorry, that would need an emerald. We'll just go for the normal guy. And I should be able to just make that. Yeah, cool. And so that way I don't have to make like a, an actual villager room or something, which is, it's lazy, but it's also like, meh. You know, like, I, I don't know. I don't feel too bad doing it. Um, so we'll get this guy, slap him down. Um, now I don't really know how he works. Like, do, oh, you place the item in, you place the villager in, you then have a librarian. Oh my gosh, sharpness four. Isn't that insane? Well, here's the thing, right? That, that might be good. I mean, it's obviously expensive and stuff. That might be good. I don't need sharpness, right? Like our playthrough, we're not really like killing mobs. You know what I mean? So like, I, I think this has the least value out of most of them. So I'm just going to click cycle. They're soulbound. Um, we actually got a bunch of soulbound. Um, and I don't know where we put it. Did we chuck them in here? Enchanted books. Yeah, we've got four tombstone soulbound books in there. So we, we could probably apply those to stuff. Um, so I don't think we need that. Um, mending. Uh, I mean, normally mending is the best one, right? Because, well, it's mending. Um... If we had this, we would obviously need to set up an XP farm so that we could get XP out, I'm guessing. Um, is that just good? And then I guess my tools would like stay repaired. Um, I'm gonna cycle through. 
Worst case, I sit here clicking it until we get mending again. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not too fussed. And even then, an option to trade paper for emeralds almost just seems like a better idea regardless. Um, it's possible I've thrown away, like, the best trades ever and you guys, like, screaming at your camera. Auto smelt automatically smelts whatever's mined. I mean, that's, you know, that's nice. That's fun. Fortune 2? That's not bad. Thorns. Curse of Breaking. More emerald trades. This would be the good one if it was emerald trade plus the book. You know what I mean? Instead of, like, this bookshelf stuff. Loyalty. Frostbite. What's that? Six, seven, eight? Chance to freeze enemy on hit? I mean, that, that also sounds pretty good, but... Like, I, I mean, once again, we're not really killing stuff, so I, I'm mainly looking for, like, fortune, looting, or I guess mending, but I, I, I don't even know if I care. I'm, I'm sort of just seeing what the options are, because, as you can see, there's a bunch of different things it's offering me, which is pretty cool. But yeah, my, um, Master Fluffy Chaos actually suggested the, um, the Village Trader, and I wasn't really going to do it, because I thought that the tank upgrade would work, but I, I didn't look far enough ahead to realize you needed you know, to get the XP bottle anyway. And so, like, if we're going to use the trader, <laughs> we might as well use it. Frostbite, 10. Chance to freeze enemy on hit. Is that good enough to just get? I don't know how good it... Like, it, it might just be horrible. But, like, in theory, if I attack a mob and it's frozen, I mean, that's that's awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, like, you can't really beat that. Like, if I'm fighting the wither or something. and I can't, But once again, like, I don't, I don't really fight. I'd rather... I'd rather something else. Like, like even this. Extra XP from mobs and blocks. It's simple. It's good. But I also need to be able to make emeralds somehow. In order to upgrade this guy. Oh, you know what? Soul Siphoner 5. Increases souls collected by killing mobs. By 10% per level. This is really good. And we're going to use it. Um, this is for mystical agriculture. And so what that is. Is if we wanted, say, um, blaze seeds. Where we can grow blaze essence, which can be crafted into magma cream, eyes of ender, or even just blaze rods, right? So really good. You would require soul jars filled with whatever the mob is that you want, right? So in this case, you would need 10 blaze souls per jar, right? And so what this is doing is 10% per level. So, yeah, so I guess you'd get 50% more souls for it being uh, level 5. Maybe that's not that good. Like, his 50% that... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want. Alright, I, I think I'm going to take Mending. I don't know if it's the best one, but it, it's kind of the nicest I've seen. Bookmarks this trade type for all villagers of that profession. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but we'll keep it as this. So what I need now, if I want to, you know, upgrade this guy, is either 24 Emeralds or 24 Paper. Now, Paper is probably going to be my play. Um, in terms of farming sugarcane, we can do it in a botany pot, and it's tempting to do that, but I think we should set up a farm, like a proper, like that type of farm. The why? Um, because it sounds fun. <laughs> it sounds a lot more fun than placing a singular block, um, like what we did with these. I mean, I could do a, I could do a pickle farm, I guess, <laughs> if we want. We haven't even used those amethyst crystals. Um... Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, am I going to do the sugarcane farm this episode? I mean, man, probably not, right? Which means I'd have to put the entire experience thing on hold, which I think I'm okay with. Uh, we can put it on hold for now. Maybe we'll get back to it later in this episode, but there's something else we're going to try and do now. I, I feel guilty doing that because it's like we spent so much time trying to get to the XP and then I just give up again. Uh, either way, it's fine. I think the next thing we're doing right now is going to be pretty quick. So, um, I had the other suggestion uh, from uh, Jesse Stein. And it is to make this thing accessible from anywhere. Whether it's over here. <laughs> whether it's in the nether. Whether it's in a different dimension. Wherever it is. In the mine or something. Have access to all of our stuff. And that sounds awesome. Um, to do that, there's a few options. Option number one is get this guy. Well, not really option number one, but the first thing we have to do is get a tablet. It's going to need a block of quartz and three blocks of redstone. I don't really know what we have and what we don't have. Um, it says we don't have redstone. I think we've got some in here. Yeah. It's not a crazy amount, but I'll tell you what. I can probably um, turn that machine back on with some uh, more toast. 
So I don't know, maybe we'll get a bit more, more stuff out of it. Open this gap. In goes the toast. And hopefully out comes the redstone. If we're lucky. Lots of rhyolite. Um, so anyway, that should hopefully be enough to make two more blocks. Cool. And then we just need a block of quartz, which should be easily done as well. Awesome. So we'll make a tablet. And so what this guy does is it will hold stuff. Um, so you can put things in it and it will do things. At the moment though, it's it's empty. It doesn't do anything. Um, so we need to decide what to put in it. Now, um, there are storage modules for the modular storage block and they can store a certain amount of things. So, so there's an actual block, right? If I search storage uh, module and we look at the modular storage, if I place this block down, I can then place in these modules, right? So I can have a tier four module that will store 500 stacks um, of stuff, I guess, in this little storage block. So it's similar to the storage scanner, but instead of using actual storage, it uses these little um, storage modules. Alternatively, I think we can craft this guy here, the storage control screen module. The description here says this screen module allows you to monitor nine different items through a storage scanner. So this is a, this is a storage scanner and it's saying if I put this in a screen, um, we'd be able to monitor nine different items. This module can also be combined with a tablet for remote access to a storage scanner controlled system. This is a storage scanner controlled system. This is a tablet. I think this is what we want. Um, and ooh, the recipe looks awfully cheap. Suspiciously cheap. I'm going to craft it. And so, I don't really know. I'm going to shift right click on this guy. You can see storage scanner unset in the tooltip there. I'm going to shift right click. Storage module is set to block storage scanner. So I will open my tablet, chuck this in there. And now when I right click, we have access to our entire storage system. And I can put stuff away, assuming I guess that the system's loaded um, and whatnot. And I don't know about you guys, but that, I mean, that's insane. So now I can just run around, right click this thing, and we have our entire system. If the storage scanner is near a block as well, like I could just smelt stuff. Like I could click on the furnace and in theory, chuck the stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Um, now it's from RF tools. If we go controls, keybinds, category, RF tools. I was wondering maybe there'd be like a keybind to open the thing, but it doesn't look like it. Um, either way, I mean, that's pretty cool. Does it say anything about a keybind? Um, right click, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, cool. Like yeah, genuinely, like this thing is phenomenally cool. We're, we're no longer going to have um issue with item storage. And so... Now we have nothing else to do. <laughs> I mean, we could do the, you know, the whole ore processing thing. But, I mean, that's a big task. And I'd probably want to tackle the sugarcane task first. So, l let's do it. Let's do it. Now, how do we want to harvest all of the sugarcane in the world? <laughs> it's a great question. I'm going to have my trusty bucket. I may actually want to make a second bucket um, for this one. Um, I've got my shovel as well. That should be good. Um, let's go here and just grab two buckets worth. Because I now need to figure out not only where am I putting it, but like what it's going to look like, all that sort of stuff. Um, I probably want to do it a bit further away because as you can see, our base is getting a little bit laggy just because we've got, I think all those contraptions and stuff around there. So if we just build one over here, I mean, it should be just as good, I think. Um, so we'll grab our axe, we'll chop down a few of these trees over here just to clear up some space, get rid of some of that mess if I can. And then look, I just put all of the stuff away through my inventory. How cool is that? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so um, I would like to build something here. In my mind, we're gonna set up a windmill. Have we done a windmill on this uh, pack yet? I don't think we have. Um, yeah, okay. So I feel like I'm gonna have a windmill in the middle and then it's going to spin around and just chop down all of the um, sugar cane. Because we've got a cart there. So I'll do a windmill here. And then if we want to do a different type of farm, we'll, we'll try it a different type of uh, contraption. Um, because that, I mean, that sounds pretty fun. Um, so, um, I'm going to have to go sleep in a second. But essentially what we want is the windmill bearing and sails. And th that's pretty much it. Um, on top of that, We'll need something to actually chop down the sugar cane. Now, I might be able to... I, I'm not sure which one I'll have to use because there's a few blocks, obviously, that can chop stuff. There's the saw 
there's a harvester um and there's even like mining drills so i'm not too sure i'm thinking a harvester is what we want um we can double check this by holding w on the ponder and it will show you what it does so for example the mechanical harvester um will harvest wheat and i'm wondering if it'll tell me like about sugarcane as well and if it'll do it do it too it might show like every type of block you can harvest maybe all right well it didn't um <laughs> But, I mean, I would assume that's right. Because otherwise I would need to use, like, a saw. But I'm pretty sure a saw... Like, if we go through here... Okay, you can chop blocks and stuff. This is probably showing a tree. Yep. Chops the tree. Awesome. What else can you do? Come on. Pick up their drops. Yeah, I know. Okay, that'll chop a tree. Okay. I, I, th I think the harvest is the safe bet. It harvests crops... Uh, sugar cane is crop. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going for. All right. So first things first, windmill bearing. Can we craft one? Answer is no. We require slabs. Um, but there we go. So it's pretty much slab, a piece of some sort of stone, um, or, or cobblestone, I guess, and a shaft. And then we have our windmill bearing. Awesome. Uh, this guy needs sails. Sails are made of windmill sails. Sometimes it's like one or the other recipe has the crafting recipe itself. Like sometimes you have to craft the open sails and then like apply them with wool Sometimes the other way around, but um, it appears that we've got andesite and wool for this one. That could be a problem. I don't think we have wool. Um, and we don't even have like a lot of string or anything. So, I mean, somehow we don't even have sticks. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who let that happen. But regardless, we should be fine. I'm going to craft a stack of sticks. I'm going to open my backpack, grab out the shears. And, oh, there's actually a sheep in this direction. Uh, I'll go get some wool. You don't need that much to get it spinning. I believe it's six or eight sails. Possibly four, but I, but I think it's like six or eight. So, I mean, that's what we're going to aim for. Oh, I forgot I made these sheep red. That should be fine, I would imagine. There should actually be a few here then. I think we made three sheep red. Yeah. Well, they stand out quite well. <laughs> we, we, we shouldn't have any trouble losing them. Or finding them. Honestly, the last thing we need right now is probably just a warp stone so that I can get, like, to and from, to and from my base. This just needs ender pearls. Oh, yeah, there's, like, a witch around there somewhere. Um, it just needs ender pearls. I, I think I'll go farm up four ender pills so that we can then teleport back to our base instead of having to run every single time because I, like it's an investment you know what i mean um did we get looting we've got looting one right we just need a few more experience we actually we don't need much experience <sighs> hmm. um do we have any type of experience thing in here i mean we've got an experience rod but i don't think that really helps um all right we'll just We'll just farm them in here for a little bit. I think it should be fine. We got three. And then, oh, hopefully lucky last. Yep, four. Beautiful. So I can still, oh, position not loaded. Okay. I'll have to make sure that our um, our part, our storage scanner is chunk loaded um, or force loaded in order for this to go to work. Um, so we'll jump back here. We'll give it a test run. We might as well. So if we press F3 and G, we can see that this chunk is the one that needs to be loaded. So if I go here and force load that with a shift left click, we've now got that force loaded. Um, we can F3 and G to hide the borders again. Now, if I go back, just for the sake of testing, I should still be able to open this guy like so. I should be able to craft a warp stone. And the way that this guy works is he's got 100 durability, but you can hold right click and then you can select where you want to go. Now, if you don't go anywhere, it doesn't use durability, which is nice. Um, but I guess we've got a hundred uses to get back home. On top of that, there may be a few tricks, oh, um, in terms of, um, repairing it and whatnot. Alright, regardless, we do have four wool, so we'll go in here for the sale and attempt to craft as much as it will let me, which is eight. Awesome. Perfect. On top of that, we obviously need some harvesters. Now, um, how many harvesters is a good amount? I think four is pretty good. We could go further if we wanted to, but I'm happy here. Um, can we make four? No. What are we out of? It says we're out of everything. I think we just need to craft some andesite alloys and some casings, and then we should be good. So can I go in here? What are we missing? It claims everything. Really? 
No, we have Andesite. We do actually do have alloys and some... Ca yeah, we just need more alloys. Um, so all I need is zinc. And all I need to do is this. Boom. There we go. So then if we go back in here, back in here, back here. Craft as many as it lets me. Awesome. Craft two more of those. And I believe we are good to begin. Or at least start. <laughs> Which is the same as begin. But you get the idea. You, you, you get the point. So we're going to run over here. Um, as you can see, we're going to have to sort out some sort of teleporting. Probably with um, Air's new bow and like the warp scrolls and stuff. But anyhow. Um, so this guy here. Oh, probably facing up would make the most sense. There we go. And he's going to spin. <laughs> and he's going to spin everything on him. Um, which means I actually need... I was going to run back, but we can just open it here. I could probably do with a radial chassis again. These guys are pretty good. They use some logs and some uh, alloys. And what they'll do is they'll attach there. I think... Did we use one for that guy over there anyway? We may have. But regardless... Do I still have my goggles on? Did I craft engineer's goggles? I don't think I did, actually. I think I just used the wrench, right? Maybe. Radius when sticky. Yeah. So I need a slime bowl. Is that what's going on here? I think so. So we'll grab the slime bowl and try to figure out how to do this. So I'm going to right click on this side and then I can stick stuff on. So for example, <laughs> I could place the harvesters, you know, alongside there. Obviously that looks pretty silly, but we could do that. How do I want this to look? Great question. I think we'll slime ball that. I, I have a bit of an idea. Um, it's going to be harvesting sugar cane. Um, we could make it out of like green blocks or we could try to contrast the green blocks or oh, we could just use stone bricks. <laughs> what I want as well, uh, do we have any framed? Yeah, I was going to do like framed panels like so and do like this and then like alongside here. But I don't really know. I don't know how to get this to go exactly where I want it to. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, we can craft that, pick these up. I can then stone brickify them, which I don't really know if this will look good, but we'll, we've done it anyway. And so for starters, you can see it's attached, which is cool. They're all highlighted. We can then attach our uh, mechanical harvesters like that, and they should be attached too. I don't know if this looks good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Arguably, it doesn't. Yeah. Arguably, that just looks better, right? Just placing the full blocks and having it out one. Um, and then on this side, so I guess I'll remove that. I can just place the sails, right? So I can place them here. And we've got eight to work with. So, hmm. I mean, I guess I could just do this. And then that'll spin in a circle. Does that, I mean, I don't know if it looks good. Arguably, it doesn't. But at the same time, is that a problem? <laughs> How could we... What would even look better? I feel like it just wouldn't look better unless I... I don't know, unless I do something else here. We're going to need storage on this anyway. So maybe like chests on top and it won't look too bad. Maybe. Also, I swear you could... Turn this into a... Bed. I can't, uh, there must be a way to do it. I don't, I, I'm not sure how to do that. Alright, so yeah, in terms of storages, um, I think barrels will actually look cooler. I don't really know how, we've got what, two barrels. Um, if I grab a third barrel, and then we grab a portable storage interface. And I can't afford them, but that's fine. I'll grab two logs. And we will go ahead and attempt to turn them into it. Uh, do, 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 one, two. Brilliant. Boom, boom. Awesome. <laughs> Everything's working. Fingers crossed. One, two. Cool. So I should be able to slap all this together. And then and then we're pretty much done. Um, I could do chests, but if we're going to have multiple, like if I want to have it in a straight line, I think it'll just look better being barrels. I also don't think they'll connect... Like, if I was to place them um, here, for example, you can see they don't light up. The sails don't matter because they actually connect with the other sails. Like, they sort of 
almost multi-block together. Um, but the rest of this stuff does matter. So what I will have to do is attach another chassis, which should connect just as is. And then I can go ahead and place the barrels here. So I can go barrel, barrel, barrel. And then we can go portable storage interface um, the other way around, like so. We can double check. Yep, it's all connected. If I wanted to, I could... Um, oh, if, I, if I figure out how this thing works, which is a problem, I can here double click that and then just remove the sides that I don't want to be sticky. That should be fine. But what I was going to say was um, I could slide this down to four and that'll just make sure no matter what, we don't accidentally pull in um, anything else. Like if this stops and it connects to a tree, it won't literally drag the logs around or something. Or even like the sugar can, for example. Uh, but cool. So, here's how it is, I guess. We might want it bigger, but once again, if we're not using sugar cane 24 7, it's, we, we won't need that much. Um, oh, that's not the right block. And do I want it to be there? Or do I want it to be like here? Boom. That should be good. They should connect. And then this will obviously be a thing. <laughs> um, we'll need some sort of chest or. Something. Um, I think we will get another storage uh, barrel or whatever they call a sophisticated barrel. Um, or were we doing sophisticated chests? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Um, either way, we can't afford it. Cool. All right, there we go. Golden barrel. That'll be pretty good. That'll keep us going for a little while. Um, and then I could even, if we wanted to, hold on framed I want to get like a framed slab edge and I want to place it there that looks cool <laughs> sweet okay um I'm pretty happy with this all we need to do now is actually run the thing and and obviously set up the uh design for where the sugar cane's going to go and 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 that whole sort of sort of stuff um I do have a problem where I don't know what the perfect like uh sugar cane layout is if we search um, SNAD, we, we don't have SNAD, right? Like it still hasn't been added. <laughs> I don't even know if it exists like past 1.12 or something. Um, okay, I think that's fine. Well, uh, how do I want to do that? Because for example, <laughs> if I break this here, right? We can place water there and then you can place sugarcane there, 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 and there. And then so in theory... I then want to break this block and place water there because then you can place sugar cane all around this, right? And so this is sort of the pattern I want to do, I believe. Um, so for example, um, what's that? Um, down to across one. So for example, if I went down to across one, I could plant one here, but I don't think that would be in, in range. So instead, I don't know. All right, I think I've pretty much got it. Oh, assuming I've still got infinite water here, which I've somehow undone. <laughs> um, essentially, what I did is like gap one, two, up. Gap one, two, up. So one, two, up. One, two, up. You know what I mean? And I've done that. And so you can place sugar cane in pretty much all of these gaps. I don't know if I've got the whole thing covered or if I'm going to need more covered. Um, but once again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, sweet. Um, I've pretty much done it, I guess. I mean, I, I, I guess, you know, there's, there's going to be a few spots that might be able to benefit from it. But like even this, I mean, in theory, the um, blades are only going to go here. So it's not going to grab anything there. So... We don't really need that there. And like some of these are going to be useless, but for now, it should be fine. <laughs> that one I would imagine gets harvested, but maybe I should even place that guy over here. I think we can water and can it too, possibly. So maybe I'll have to like farm some of that, but I'll go grab all the other stuff. We'll plant it up as much as we can. Um, and then I probably will chunk load it. Not just so that obviously we're going to get an insane amount when we log in um, the following day. Um, but also because my base is a decent distance from it and I'm not sure if it will be processing um, while I'm here. So we may as well make use of it. 
I also like heard fire. Yeah. I don't know if that's a problem or not. <laughs> ah. Who knows? Um, all right, sugar cane and food. It sounds like a great idea. So I'm gonna harvest all the sugar cane and all the sugar cane. Sweet. So we've got what, 27? That's pretty good. All right, now on top of this, you can waterlog blocks. And I wonder if we have like sand, just, just sand slab. Oh, well, I guess sand wouldn't work, but if I had dirt slab, Coarse dirt slab, tiny chips. I know I can do a framed block slab, but I, like, I don't know if that, <sighs> I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, sorry, if that'll work is what I'm trying to say there. Framed slab, I've got dirt. So I could place the frame slab there. Um, Is there still water there? And it, yeah, there's still water there. So it's just not showing it to me. And if I was to place dirt there, can I play? <laughs> no, I can't place a, a thing on top. Okay, so, so I guess at the end of the day, it would be, what do we want to place here? What do we want the sugar cane growing on? I also kind of want to actually plant it on sand instead, but for now, I guess it's fine. And the only other thing I would say would be, is the watering can going to do anything? Um, Because it'd be cool if it did, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... How, how long of waiting before you just like accept that it's not doing it, right? Okay. I, I, I'd i safely say that it works, judging by the fact that only the ones I was spraying have grown. Um, <laughs> you know what? I, I might actually have to turn off um the physics thing for the... Oh, I guess it's fine. It'll only be for now, but it's kind of hard to see what I've broken. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, all right. Well, anyway... Um, we'll place the rest sort of like over here and I guess we'll begin. I also want to check like if I place one there and we turn this guy on, which should be done by right clicking this guy. There we go. Does he actually harvest it? Come on. Oh, awesome. Nice. That's just a broken bit, but he should have, I think I can actually possibly open it. Yeah. Look, he's got a moving barrel and he's got sugar cane in him and that sugar cane I'll have to pipe it into this guy, but it should do the trick. Um, let's break this. Let's place this. And let's get um, a pipe, I guess. Why not? Slap that guy there. Um, pipe wrench. And do that. Awesome. That should take care of it. And see, it doesn't need to be the fastest thing ever because, I mean, the sugar cane isn't the fastest growing thing ever, right? Um, and... The things that I want to break are like these corner ones that just clearly aren't going to reach. And what we'll end up doing is I think I'll just place stone bricks all around them. And then eventually we'll replace all the um, dirt in here or all the grass in here with sand. And I think that'll be a pretty good idea. Um, so arguably, I should be going around like this. You know what I mean? Hmm. It's hard to tell where it will grow, right? We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if this ends up being like a proper circle or not. Um, yeah. All right, so my idea here is we'll be using some frame blocks to make up for um, like bits here where like this needs to be water, but obviously I don't want it to look like water, so we can chuck one of those in there um, as well as one of these bits here. So that can be that as well. And then I should be able to just cover that all up. Oh, this guy actually, hmm. <laughs> almost, you, you get the idea. So I'll, I'll fix a lot of this stuff um, and be back with a finished product, hopefully. I just, I just put a bucket of water into a frame block, which I, I, I didn't, I didn't know you could do. Oh, and I, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm very confused. Okay. So I want this to be a full block. There we go. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Remain perfectly calm. All right. I'll be honest. I, th I think we're pretty good. Um, the only thing is obviously like that block there. Did that get harvested? Um, allegedly not. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on things. Make sure it is actually harvesting everything. 
make sure we are getting some sugar cane back. But yeah, even these bits that don't look like they should be able to hold it are able to hold it. Um, so, so far, so good. Uh, one thing I would want to do is very quickly, if we get an exchanging... Oh, an exchanger. I was going to grab an exchanging gadget, but it doesn't appear to be a thing. Instead, we've got these guys and a lot of them. Um, do these all upgrade? They do. So I would need Eyes of Ender. Ugh. I can't be bothered doing that. But this guy would exchange, obviously, like our grass for um, sand. I'm realizing these middle blocks, for whatever reason, don't look like they can be harvested just because of the way, I guess, the thing spins. Which isn't the end of the world. Um, what it means is that we'll just have to place, like, some of these in the middle, I think. So, for example... But yeah, um, so this is how it currently is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do want it to be all sand, so... I, I guess we're going to have to do it the good old-fashioned way, which isn't, you know, it's not the end of the world. I, I don't think I'll mind doing it. It's just sort of, it would have been nice to use a little... Uh, you know what? Ah, we're playing with mods. Let's, let's just do it properly. I'm going to teleport into the nether. Um, oh, I was going to see if we were at the right level, but we're still not the right level. Unless someone wants to donate their experience to me, where that? Yeah, we'll see if he's um, see if he's got some experience to trade me. All right, he actually didn't offer me um that much experience, which was unfortunate. So we'll just go back to the Enderman, because because then I can just trade for looting three, right? And this becomes just the easiest job in the world. By the way, once you use that one hundred durability, or, or I guess one of the uses, it still has like a cooldown, so you got to wait for it to uh finish, which is. You know, a little bit rough. By the way, when I walk out here, there's always an enderman in that exact spot. It's like, it's like I don't know. They just go there to, to look out at the view and they see me and they just they just freak out and just rage. End of tier. Yeah, okay. Let's see, is there another one already up there? No, not yet. Oh, there we go. Three. Oh, and a little bit more. Um, sweet. That should be enough to make the ender pill and then the two things to make um, the exchange. So you can make this thing, then make this thing. If we wanted to upgrade it, I'd need two more and then, like, I think, oh, I'd need three more. We, we don't need to. Not yet. We'll, we'll wait until, I mean, I guess I could level up by killing the enderman. It's fine. It's fine. I think we can work with it. Um, the only question I would have would be, do we have blaze stuff? We do. Can I like crush you or something to get more out of you um we can squeeze you into five that's that's a pretty good deal uh it does not get all much better than that um, so we'll chuck you in there pleasure doing business with you Alrighty, two ender pills into eyes of ender um bu -bu -bu. exchanger core we'll need some rows luckily we have a crazy amount of that so that's the exchanger core then with some logs, we have our exchanger. Now, this guy has 256 durability, so not an insane amount, but it should be enough to do what we want. And then how does he work? Um, selected block is none. Cool. Um, uh, crouch, right-click on a block to select. Right-click on a block to exchange and use, um, it looks like dot to open the, the GUI. So... Oh, it's a comma, sorry, not not dot. Um, right, yeah. So, we can obviously see in here options, force things, exchanging. This guy doesn't have much use because obviously he's literally just going to do a one by one. It does highlight the one by one. You can sort of see the area selected, which is pretty cool. So, what we're going to do is we can run over here. Let's have a look and make sure that he's still harvesting. We can crouch right click to select this. And we now have um, sand selected. Then in the perfect... Oh, yep, he harvested it. In the perfect world, I can right-click on this stuff. And yeah, I can exchange it. So as long as I right-click on the block, it'll exchange it. It won't displace the crop that's on top, which, as you can see, is very beneficial for, um, like, replacing the farm um, stuff here. Make sure we don't click the actual sugar cane. Luckily, they don't take up a full block, so you should be able to squeeze in there. Um, but, yeah... And the, the higher tier is obviously like having a 3x3 three three or a 5x5. Five five. You'd be able to do this whole thing in like one click rather than what I'm doing. Um, 
But it, you know, it's fine. Is it better than just breaking the stuff? Like when you just have a wooden tier? I don't know. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I'm not sure if it is better. But it is nice once you do have the higher tiers. Like remodeling a base or something is very easy to do. Um, I might actually just cover this all up with framed blocks and like the frame slabs and sand in the frame slabs because I, I don't know it looks a little bit weird with the with the gaps everywhere but then I guess the gaps will then be gaps of nothing there but is that a problem not necessarily and then I think I'm gonna place um a fence around this thing. It, it, I think it's a classic design. I swear we've done this farm on like three different servers now. Where Not this specific farm, but just like a circle. And then like... Um, spinny thing in the middle. And then a fence on the outside. But I, I like it. It works. Um, what, are the, what, are the, what do we want to make the fence out of? How do we want to spice this up? Um, let's search wall. Do we want a wall? No. I think I do want to do a fence. And I'll be honest, I kind of want to do the fence out of the redwood. Um, so I, th I think that is what I'll go for here. So we'll go, oh, I could do the actual red wood rather than like the bright red wood. Do we have night vision on? We don't. Maybe it's, just, it's just that bright from the sand, I guess. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know what to do. Let's grab a bunch of redwood out. Let's then also search for framed. Okay. We'll search framed here. Now we can either get framed fences or we can get framed walls if we wanted to. I'll probably do fences. They're pretty good. Um, I'll craft a bunch. 27. Probably not enough, but I guess enough for now. And we'll just build this all the way around. I guess before I continue here. What's this going to look like with this wooden here? Um, I think it looks quite nice. I'm, I'm on board. I don't, I don't know if it will continue looking nice <laughs> as we continue along here. But um, I reckon it does. You know what? I think if you place it in your offhand, yeah, it would just place the block as I want it. That's good to know. That's <laughs> that's a little lesson for you. Um, definitely a time saver as well. Um, but nonetheless, I think I'm happy. Do we want a fence to go in? It could be beneficial, but I don't think we need to. There we go. And then we've got five sugar canes so far, so we're getting them. Um, oh, this guy... Cannot be placed. Uh, oh, because it's a frame slab. It's not a real sand. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. And that's probably not... Yeah, that's another framed one. Okay. There'll be some gaps, but there were going to be gaps anyway. And I think it looks a little bit nicer than the water. Maybe. Um, regardless, there she is. It's beautiful. If we do F3 and G, we can see that pretty much the entire thing, in fact... Yeah, the, the entire thing, all the functional parts at least, and the farm itself is within this chunk here. So I can force load that, and it should run even when I'm not um, not here, which is going to be pretty cool. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, would it be faster to make a botany pot? Probably. Should I just place a botany pot next to this growing sugar cane so that we can compare the speeds? I think so. I think that would be interesting to see. Um, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll see what we're up against here, I guess. Um, so I'm going to need to smelt some stuff. Uh, let's search. Oh, I've got clay here. Um, okay. How do I want to pull this one off? Let's search clay, clay block. I need five of this and then I believe just three clay. We might actually already have the bricks smelted and stuff. Is that a thing? Why'd that not pick up? Yeah, there we go. Oh, graphite we've got. Okay. Why does that seem a little bit weird? Um, what do we have? Do we have bricks? We do. Awesome. Let's get the hopper botany pot. Alright, hopper botany pot. Awesome. Um, this guy's gonna go sugar cane, so I think I can just put grass in it. Oh, and I guess the exchange just hook touches up the grass, which is pretty cool. So, if you need that relatively early, um, like you need to get your hands on some grass, there you go. That's, you know, not a bad thing, deal at all. Um, over here... Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and upgrade this chest to um, at sophisticated. We'll grab this. We'll grab that. We'll grab this. We'll just do that. So, uh, yeah, hold on. Boom, boom. Bear with me. <laughs> but, but one second. Boom, boom. I will just upgrade this guy to iron just so that, you know, we have 
a similar sort of uh, storage happening here. Boom. All right, cool. So he's going to sit right next to it. He's going to have a hopper botany. He's going to have a piece of dirt or a piece of grass, I guess, and a sugar cane. And we'll compare the pair, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, this guy's not fully done. Like, he's he'll be a little bit better once it's full. But, I mean, he's more than halfway, right? All right. Well, yeah, cool. I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to pretty much wrap this one up here. I don't really know if we... I mean, we did some stuff, right? We did uh, Villager. We messed around with the wireless range. Which, I mean, this thing is honestly awesome. I I don't really know if it's like thumbnail material. <laughs> but it, it, I mean, and it wasn't really the focus of the episode. But the fact that it exists, I, I probably will make it the title and thumbnail. Because it's like, I mean, if you want to know about it, it's, it's very, very cool. So how am I going to... What's a good thumbnail here for this thing? I guess I could... Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll go sit in front of the... Uh, the new farm I've made. Oh, also, just real quick, I do want to try this. Now that we have like a stack of wheat, if I put a full stack in there, do we actually get some benefits? We'll see. Um, yeah, and I'll grab a thumbnail and then, and then this will pretty much be it. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed um, the episode. Where are we? What's going to look the best? Pretty much this. Oh. What, if I, what if I get rid of that? What if we do like that? That's yeah, not too bad. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, thank you, of course, to our donators and channel members. Uh, don't feel pressured to become a donator or a channel member. Um, you don't need to. Um, but I do appreciate those of you who have. Thank you. Uh, thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you, guys. Um, I can double check. I do have it open. So it's always good to double check so we don't miss anyone. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are we? It's loading, of course. Oh, we do it. We do have some people. Um, welcome to. Um, I hope it is Moog Courtney. I think I've read a comment um, today from you, um, who became tier two. Um, where is it? Eight days ago. So thank you for joining us. Welcome. Welcome to the the do crew. I guess is what we're called. <laughs> thank you. Hopefully you're enjoying stuff. Um, and welcome to James Rodriguez. Plenty of comments. Very helpful stuff. Um, over. Quite, quite a while now. I, I don't really know when the first one was, but um, it, it's come to be a familiar name. So welcome, welcome. Um, once again, don't, don't feel pressured. Even if you've become a channel member or, or a donator or something, don't feel pressured to maintain it. Um, these episodes, the servers, all that stuff, um, it'll happen regardless. So, so just, you know, make sure you're looking after yourself um, over the top of anything else. Um, but I do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and yeah, James Rodriguez joined tier one seven days ago. So welcome as well. Um, once again, yeah, like two people joined, no notification. Like I, I, I don't get told, you know what I mean? Whereas realistically, like if that like popped up on my watch, you know what I mean? Like joined us a moment, it's like, oh, awesome. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's cool. Um, but instead it's just like, nah, I just have to actively check. And like that was at, like eight days ago. Like that, that's ridiculous. Um, so I do apologize, but, um, but welcome, welcome. Hopefully, hopefully you're still enjoying your time here. Um, so yeah. I mean, plenty of work to do. The whole enchanting thing, we're getting there, okay? We're, we're, we're getting there. Um, obviously, a little bit of work to do, but um, I think it'll be worth it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we're getting there. I do want to, like... I will use this sugar cane as well, just to finish off the farm, because I, I want it to be a fair fight, right? Oh. Sometimes you can jump over the stuff and I guess sometimes you can't all right I think we're I think we're done I think nope not you I think I think that's it I think the rest of these gaps are all framed slabs I think that's a framed slab over there so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this we'll let it do its thing um and I guess we'll see next episode which which barrel has more stuff in it yeah sure if I remember that that's why we did that <laughs> um yeah nice Okay, cool. I'm thinking about like uh, fixing up this design as well. I like everything about this, except I think the flooring. We could probably go around it with some redwood or something and that would make it look pretty nice. Um, as well as like, I don't know. Some of like the corners are a little bit weird. Like you notice how every corner has like a bit there. I might just make this entire thing with redwood. I think that would look pretty. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I do apologize once again 
Um, some of these weeks um, are going to be quite busy for me in terms of uh, work and, and whatnot. And it's like starting earlier and finishing later. And so it's just some days I'm just exhausted. And um, I, honestly, like I'm just going to sleep, right? Like I'm not going to... Um, I, I mean, I'm going to try to get into a proper routine so that it doesn't feel as exhausting. But if, if I'm tired, I'm, I'm just going to sleep and, and there might not be an episode. Um, so I, I apologize, but... I'd I'd rather do that than try to like force out an episode where I'm exhausted and there's two ways to see it. One way is like, all right, the episode's up there. That that's good. But the other way to see it, I guess, is that like this bad episode that I forced myself to make is now on the channel eternally. Like that that episode of this season is constantly um, tarnished. Does that make sense? But then on the flip side, it's like okay, but there's one night of you know me feeling horrible but forcing a video that's now a permanent you know what i mean like that's a whole new episode that um will be able to be enjoyed for a while so i, I don't know it's, it's hard to weigh it up but i think for the sake of not getting like because you hear about like a bunch of youtubers burning out and stuff right if i need to sleep i'm gonna sleep <laughs> it's just, it, it sounds dumb but um but yeah yeah so i i thought i'd let you know um but there's there's no worries so obviously like i don't want you guys thinking like 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 the sympathy card or anything like that. If I feel like sleeping, I'm gonna sleep. If if I don't feel like sleeping, you're gonna get a video. <laughs> it, it, it shouldn't be every week, but um, a, a few weeks, um, like this last week that just went by, as well as I think uh, like every second week for a little while might be might be like that. But um, but yeah. Oh, you know what? I almost thought, almost forgot. Um, this episode might be long, but once again, missed an episode, so I guess that makes up for it. Um, so we'll run over here. You know what? Let's. I've got some stuff. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. We've done great here. Um. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh. Uh, uh. Boom. Robert Law, Part Twenty. Chapter Sixteen, Part Two: The Reunion. Robert is back. Back in safe arms. Gold has been rushed to the nearby hospital, and Target has gone off into the woods with his group. Robert is in the hospital with Gold. Gold enjoys Robert's company as he lays on the bed, unable to move. We have missed you, Robert. All of us, Gold says. Robert turns his head towards Gold. His face looks upset, but apologetic. I know you didn't mean to attack me. It's fine, really, Gold says to cheer up Robert. After the day ends, Target comes back from a wild adventure and tells the group about it all. They all set camp inside the hospital room and sleep for the night. The reunion is over. Reunion. Reunion. It's back to business from here on out. Reunion. That's another word. What, what was the other word? Familiarity. That's the other word that I couldn't say. Reunion and familiarity. Those two words. Can't say them. I don't. <laughs> Something about my mouth it doesn't doesn't want to make that happen. Reunion. <laughs> I think I can say reunion. Um, familiarity. I still. I don't like that word. That was like a... Throughout the entire series of Gravitans, that was like a mission to try and get through that word. And even now, I think it still sounds just as bad as when I first tried to say it. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.